My name is Mike Dectus. I'm with the marketing department of Workhorse. It's my pleasure to welcome all of you here today on this momentum momentous event. We want to thank all of our fleet friends who are here today, all of uh, the media that is here that have covered this event. Uh, we want to thank uh, the show, Act Expo, Friedman, uh, Eric Dandros and his whole team. And so without further ado, I'm going to get started with the man that is our leader, the visionary behind this thing, our CEO, Mr. Steve Burns. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for everybody being here. Uh, just, uh, I know, probably all anxious to see the cover come off, but I just thought I'd take a few minutes to, uh, again, thank you on behalf of the entire workforce team. And uh, what we're going to show you here today is the world's first electric pickup truck. And I think everybody's probably aware of pickup trucks are the number one vehicle in the United States. And um, to, to bring the first electric is, is very exciting to us. It is geared for fleet use. We built it and designed it from, the, from a blank piece of paper for fleet use. To that end, it gets 80 miles of range on all electric mode. Uh, if you go beyond that, or if you're towing something heavy, or it's super cold, whatever the reason, if you need it, we have an insurance policy up front. That's called a three-cylinder uh, range extended gasoline generator. So we built it to be a complete replacement for any gasoline or diesel truck. It should be able to do, except for the extremes, you know, if you've got to tow, tow 8,000 pounds up a mountain every day. Maybe not for that, but except for the extremes, we built it to be able to do anything a conventional vehicle can do. Of course, it's zero emissions when it's running on all electric mode, and even when the, if the generator kicks on, very, very low. The other thing we wanted to make sure is, given the duty cycle of pickup trucks and what you all put them through, uh, we wanted to make sure it could handle it. So to that end, it has four-wheel drive. It has 460 horsepower. Uh, it has, uh, when I say four-wheel drive, it has true all-wheel drive, where we have a, an electric motor in the front and the rear. And we do the torque vectoring, and that results in better traction than you've probably gotten in any pickup truck ever made. So there's a lot of firsts with this truck. Uh, to keep the, the truck light, the entire body is made out of carbon fiber. Uh, our friends at Prefix here helped us do that. And uh, it's not only beautiful, but it's light and it's strong. Um, we also have an innovation in that the interior, we wanted to keep very professional, but very utilitarian, right? And we're trying to, all this is geared towards a price point where this makes sense. Uh, we believe to be ex really, really successful and really change the landscape of pickup trucks, it has to be cost competitive. So we built this such that um, over the 8, 10, 12 years you would own this vehicle, it's less expensive all in, total cost of ownership, than any pickup truck you can buy. Right? And that's a pretty big statement. Pickup trucks are refined, refined, refined machines. They're beautiful, utilitarian machines. Uh, and to come out with uh, a new pickup truck that you, you say is less expensive in the, in the total cost of ownership, uh, we, we realize that's a tall statement. We got our pedigree from building larger trucks, UPS electric trucks, and uh, we basically shrank that down, made it um, into a pickup truck. So without, uh, oh, by the way, before we uh, pull the cover off, we also have a couple of our landmark partners with us today. So we have Mike Allison from Duke Energy. Duke Energy was the first company to sign a letter of intent for 500 vehicles. And that leadership, to do it early like that, Mike probably did that um, quite a while ago, before he could touch and feel it. But he had the faith that we could do it, and we really uh, appreciate his leadership and Duke's leadership in, in, in this area. The other exciting thing is today we signed a rider agreement with Ryder and uh, extremely happy to have a national footprint of sales and service so we can assure our fleets and our customers that uh, um, Ryder is there for them. I think they have nearly 800 locations and Scott, Scott Perry is going to um, come up from Ryder and just get, give a small uh, talk as well. Okay, so I think uh, without further ado, we should uh, show you the truck.
looking at it, and then I think after Scott and uh, Mike speak, then we can kind of converge on it, and we'll be glad to answer any questions you like. Mike, are you? I guess. Thanks, sir. For uh, electric utilities, so much for sedans, which are easier to find in a plug-in hybrid version. But for many years, we've asked our suppliers to build a four-wheel drive extended cab or crew cab truck that had a substantial electric range. We wanted ground clearance and other things as comparable to a four-wheel drive Ford, Chevy, Chrysler truck that we buy today. And it's obvious from looking at the truck here that Workhorse listened to what we had to say as an industry and has put together something very quickly to meet those requirements. They still have a lot of work to do to uh, have that truck ready to put into the marketplace, but the burden's on the Workhorse folks, and I think they're very much behind that to do what they have to do to make this a viable product. Thanks, Mike, and that's a good point. I should bring up a couple things. The other thing we wanted to do before I hand it over to Scott here is we wanted to make this, in addition to the greenest and the most affordable pickup truck in the world, we also wanted to make it the safest pickup truck. And the way we do that is we have a very large, since we don't have a large, you know, big block engine in the front, we have a lot of crumple zone up there. And as most people know, that's what really saves you in a head-on collision. Also, the battery pack is under the floor between the frame rails, so very low center of gravity uh, for quick lane changes and maneuverability. And we also, if you notice on the grill up there, there are some sensors. So we are in, uh, in the base trim package, we're including automatic braking and lane center. So again, uh, a lot of attention towards um, safety. So we'd like to tell a fleet person, this is the safest, greenest, most economical vehicle you put your people in. I think that's meaningful. Uh, the other thing, real quickly, so you just don't think it's a good-looking uh, uh, piece of jewelry up here. Uh, it's drivable. We drove it with journalists all day yesterday. Those articles are starting to come out. I think 10 of them came out in the last uh, few minutes since 5 o'clock. So it's, uh, it's, it's designed to be strong. That also, fortunately or unfortunately, makes it fast. It will do 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds, not necessarily most important to fleets, but if it's strong enough to tow and to haul, then if you're on a regular street and you're not towing and hauling, you have a very quick, quick piece to it. Okay, uh, with that said, I'm going to introduce Scott. Thanks, Scott. So thank you, Steve, and uh, congratulations to you and the, the workhorse team. This is a fantastic product, and uh, I can attest to that uh, 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds. It does have great acceleration. So. You know, there's a few times in uh, the, uh, the career, uh, us in the industry, whenever you can think about you know, dates when certain things happen. And I think that uh, this is one of those dates when we'll think back to that uh, evening at the ACT Expo when the W15 product was unveiled and introduced to the marketplace. Because I really do believe that this is uh, a product that's going to have very broad applicability. Uh, I think it's going to resonate with the fleets. It's a fantastic technology, and I think as uh, progress is made in moving toward production starting in Q4 of next year, that uh, there's going to be a significant amount of demand. Uh, I know I have already received inquiries from customers today wanting to know how they can work with these vehicles. So the interest is definitely there. The product is fantastic. We're excited about the opportunity to be uh, the North American service partner and distribution channel for the Workhorse product. And it extends beyond the W15. It includes all of the Workhorse products uh, that are available today. And we're excited about exposing those to our customers. We're excited about including those in our portfolio. And we really look forward to, uh, to all the great things to come. So congratulations again to the group. And uh, are we ready for people to come, guys? We want to thank uh, Scott and we want to thank Mike Allison for saying a few words and, and for being on our team, you know, with Workhorse. It's, it's very uh, impressive to us that we could uh, attract the likes of Duke Energy and Ryder, two great, great companies. I want to announce that we have nearly 5,000 pre-orders of this truck under LOI right now. And with that, 
I'm going to uh, say that all, everybody from Workhorse, Ryder, and Duke that will be here for the uh, reporters that are here, come up. For everybody, come up. You can start looking at it. Thank you again for attending.